Well, Nicole, we made it to day four. Good times. <clears throat> Reporting is ordered, sir. You awake? Sort of. <sighs> you forget your coffee? For once, I don't need it. I gotta talk to you about something. Um, okay. Okay, so why did you hang up? I don't get it. Why did you hang up your phone? You walkie talk. Oh, I guess I have to report it. Pastor Foster, Lipstick, and Leonard's book. Okay. Here I am. You didn't tell me you knew Leonard. I, I thought we'd been through that. Let me finish. I spent the night going through his stuff, and I want to know what you think. About what? You obviously know more about this place than I do. About what went on here, since I left at least. What do you mean, you went through his stuff? What are you looking for? Someone calls me and says Rachel is alive. Then a lipstick appears out of nowhere. It feels like something weird's going on. Rachel is dead. I really don't know what to think. It's just that... Look, the storm is dying down. You'll be able to leave soon and go back to your life. And you can forget about the whole thing, like you did ten years ago. <laughs> what do you care about this old business? It's not worth losing sleep over just to play detective. I'm not busy at the moment. I want to follow my instinct. I haven't done it in so long and it feels like things don't add up here. Okay, let me hear what you're thinking. If there's one thing Leonard taught me, it's that you gotta listen to what's buzzing in your head. First, it might just be a confusing noise, but if you connect the dots, then it starts making sense. And right now, I've got a beehive in my head. <laughs> All right, let's go hunt some bees then. Well, um, I don't know why they didn't let us go through these uh, clues on our own. They're just kind of like drip feeding us exposition. So, yeah, I could have, you know. Anyhow, December 23rd, <laughs> December 23rd, 8.30 a.m. What? Buffling rate call. Rachel is still here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Friend's story. Strangest gossip of the month. After 10 years, going to us all Rachel in the Timberline Hotel. Oh, she's pretty. Um, nine weeks pregnant. Oh God damn, Rachel and Leonard McGrath. Suicide. We have her last words. Found a letter of clear intent to put an end to her life. Okay. I guess we'll report the wall clues. Uh, clippings. Or, I, guess I found Rachel's a copy death. of the local paper, dated December 29th, 1981, the day that the body was discovered. According to the forensics report, Rachel had been dead for days. She was nine weeks pregnant. Uh, yeah, that was the official version. Shocked the entire building's heart. The principal told us today it felt like a huge weight heavy on our souls. Yeah, I guess that would be uh, pretty uh, intense. So report some more, I guess. Friend's story. In this article from a couple years back, there's a statement by some girl who affirms she saw Rachel in a hallway at the Timberline. Who's this girl? Uh, a classmate, Glenda Ferguson. I tore out the page. I think the magazine was M.T. Woman. Nicole, that's a gossip magazine. They would sell their mother, e even their cousins and nephews, just for a bunch of new readers. You don't know that. She couldn't have been wrong, or maybe you're right. Well, we'll just go with this one. Uh, I know, it's not a very reliable source. Rachel fell 90 feet into a void. She can't be alive. I thought I was the skeptical one here. Well... Let me read this, actually. The 29 years old girl from Great Falls claims she saw Rachel Foster, her schoolmate, 
suicidal in 1981 in a corridor at the first floor of the Timberline Hotel, but she ran away without saying nothing. Glinda revealed to the Daily Reporters and that she tried to approach her, but she went away. She also added, I don't know how it's possible, but I was de it was definitely Rachel. This is just the last episode of the most famous love and death story in the county. Rachel committed suicide after her affair with Leonard McGrath. 30 years... What the hell was that? 30 years older than the teen... Teenager was. <laughs> Exposed to the public. I tried to speak with Rachel's father, Shepard Foster, but he refused. Someone says the young girl is still alive. Creepy. I keep following our monthly update to find him. Oh, God damn, I don't want to look behind me. I'm closing this. Fuck that. What the hell was that? Ugh. Okay, we'll report another clue. So, listen to this. Graphologists doubt the authenticity of the suicide note left by the girl. Who said that? An investigative journalist. The article came out a year after her death. You think it's a setup? Perhaps. Okay, well, I'll hear you out. She was supposed to have jumped, I guess. Oh, weird. Um, is there anything else? You know, I can't stop thinking about Rachel's father. Reverend Foster, he was a very strict man. Harsh, even for pastor standards. He and Leonard spent hours debating the nature of reality, the universe, and God. Well, opposites often attract. Do you ever see him? Rarely. He gives a service once in a while. Seemed like an alien to me. Uh... Sure. Back in the day, I thought he was a kind of reptilian with a human skin suit. Really? His daughter's death destroyed his ego. His faith made him even more cynical and lonely than he already was. I can remember him demanding, demanding, demanding total perfection from Rachel. That was insane. You don't think he could have harmed his daughter? Hey, no, no. But... Even Reverend Foster is a player we shouldn't underestimate in this story. Just saying. Uh, right. Well, see, it would be better if I actually kind of knew who this was. But alas, I did not. Uh, book. Hey, I'm more curious I about found this. a book in Leonard's things. It's a collection of poetry, but it's got notes written in it. Did your father write them? What do they say? Dates, notes, thoughts. Listen to this. Today I saw Rachel. Or Rachel is sad. Or Rachel says she feels alone. He kept a diary about her. But the book was printed eight years after Rachel's death. Do you mean it's like he was talking with Rachel after she died? Just As if he his... saw her. Well, losing I mean, his there mind. must be an explanation. Of course, there's an explanation for everything, and we've got to find it. Okay. Talk about the lipstick again. Remember the lipstick I found downstairs? Yep, you made a big deal about it. It doesn't smell. Should it? After they've been open for a while, lipsticks smell really bad. Maybe there's been other women. I mean... From what I gather, Leonard was a sort of recluse. And don't forget, the lipstick is really old. Um, could the cold have preserved? Possibly. Anything else? Okay, I'd say that's enough. Yeah, that's enough for tonight. Uh, today, or what the hell time is it? You think there's a lot to dig up in this old story? Uh, this. Maybe, maybe not. Until I know exactly what happened. Any objections? You don't need my approval. Good job. You're getting the hang of it. But sometimes it's better to leave the skeletons in the closet. And once they come out, you never know what they'll have to say. It's a risk I already considered. I can handle it. Hard-headed like your father. <laughs> Trust me, at least on this one thing. Go to bed. You need it. Agent Crawford, this bit of advice. Oh, I 
I'll follow it to the T. Okay, so I'm just supposed to go to bed now, I guess. Well, that was uh, a short day four, so moving on to day five. What? Hey, cutie pie. How are you? Daddy? Daddy, is that you? Where are you? I can't see you. You came back in the end. It's like the inescapability of a celestial body's revolution. We can't help but follow certain stars' brightness. Even if those stars have died millions of years ago. Is it you? For real? Are you real? Their light is alive. And it reaches us. And those stars are alive and dead at the same time. What are you trying to say? I, I don't understand. I, I can't see you, Daddy. Listen, sweetie. My sweetheart. Listen to my voice. It's important. I can't see you. Where are you? Where are you? You know how much I love you. I know, Daddy. I've always known it. I love you, too. Say it again, please. I love you. I love you. I love you. Rachel. Oh. Rachel. 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 God damn. Rachel. 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 What the hell? That was day five? What the hell happened? Um, well, we're moving through the days pretty quick now, so... What the fuck? Morning. Am I interrupting? Did you sleep for two days? Steak and potatoes, cheesecake, strawberry shake, and a frothy cappuccino, Italian style. <laughs> so the usual frozen beans. Um, very sharp. Sharp as attack, as always, Agent. Uh... I did find something, um, some tapes that were found in the main office. In truth, I shouldn't even have taken them. Oh, so what'd you find, Billy the Kid? Well, I don't think it's anything useful. Uh, wait, wait, where did I put them? What? The pliers, so I can pry the words out of your mouth. Oh, sure. Okay, okay, it's, um, it's VHS of the behind the scenes of a TV broadcast. But it's, it's all bullshit just to attract an audience. Uh, trust me Jesus, you can be really long-winded. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. Uh, they're tapes about haunted hotels, weird and mysterious stories, stuff kids like. Uh, with these guys who call themselves ghost hunters. Ghost hunters? <laughs> Did they hear about the old farting ghost? <laughs> I'm not sure, but... Uh, uh, they went on a tour of old buildings in the county, and they stopped by the timber line, too. Whatever, let me hear it. Okay, uh, but I'm warning you, it's kind of... Well, listen for yourself. Okay, okay, the lights look good. How about the headphones? I don't know, there's like a buzzing noise. Listen. Is it? It sounds like Nicole. Yeah, true. Well, the German ones were better. <clears throat> we are about to enter a nightmare hotel. A place full of deceit and secrecy where terrible lies were played out. Nah, I don't like that. I'll do it again later. Oh, the room with the fireplace isn't bad. Okay. Spare me the kitchen. I wouldn't know what the hell to say. Fireplace okay, kitchen no. Stan, where'd you leave all the gear? Room one. I stuck a piece of tape on the door. I didn't get that. What room? I got a buzz in the headset. Damn microphones. One, one, seven. One, one, seven, huh? Danny, what's that stuff in camera? It's it's giving off a glare and burns out the same. I told you no tricks. What tricks? I didn't use anything. <gasps> Stop fucking around, Danny. I told you I didn't rig anything. I saw it too. It's uh, a mirror, isn't it? Huh? It looked like the reflection on a mirror. What you smoke this morning? What the fuck are you two up to? Cut the crap, you freaking me. Holy shit, there it is. There it is. Where? I saw it. It's just up there. It's like a light, like a door that opens. 
I swear. Get I... it. Stop touching me or you'll give me a heart attack. What are you talking about? I'm like over here. Fuck, I felt someone touch me. Are you kidding? I keep hearing things. I don't know if it's on that tape or what. That's it? Yep, the tape's damaged. Too damp. Well, I'd say fucking typical. How ladylike. Oh, what was that? What happened in the end with the TV show? Never aired. Some say they ran off, ditching everything there. Yeah, but they mention a room on the tape. Yeah, it was just in front I'd of I'd like it. to take a look. It's, uh, 117, I think. 117, yeah. Same floor as my apartment. Well, I was already there. I saw that door in the last video as well. But... I thought it looked a little interesting. But I, I, I'm pretty sure I heard a scrape from this direction. I don't think it was on that tape. And then I, I what was that on the wall? Hey. I found the room. But? For someone barricaded it with an L bracket. Do what they do in movies. Bust through the door with your shoulder. Real funny. I need a screwdriver. I think I saw one around somewhere, but uh, I don't remember where. Probably in the basement. It seems to me I've seen one in the garage. Or was it the generator room? I'll let you know. Yep, no, it wasn't the, uh, wasn't the garage. It wasn't the generator room, so... I guess we'll go down there again. I wish I would have just been able to pick it up. You never know when you're gonna need a screwdriver. Nice Phillips head. Hey, uh, found the screwdriver? No. I keep thinking about those guys, the, the ghost hunters. You sure it was an act? It sounded so natural. Awesome actors, I'll give them that. I can't stand the idea that my family problems might end up on cable or some tourist guide. Fortunately, it seems that won't happen. They hightailed it out of there. God only knows why. Don't tell me you believe in ghosts or some bullshit like that. Well, I'm not superstitious, but... A little stitious. If someone believes that a black cat is bad luck, then you also have to believe that something else is good luck. Huh? What are you talking about? Prayer, for example. Um... You're saying prayer brings good luck? I doubt Reverend Foster would agree. A screwdriver. I'm out of here. Okay. Wait, this is... Oh. Oh, shit. I'm in the whole other... Whoa, bro, someone's been sleeping here. open those and I'm not supposed to be here don't dig the sounds coming from this place though so I'm gonna yep I'm gonna ski daddle and I'm gonna go back until I can find the generator room again I should have just uh, okay I'm just gonna I just retraced my steps Kind of close that, and we'll be on our way. Okay. I actually maybe I can find. Uh, don't need to go there again. What is that damn noise every time? Open it. There's not a screwdriver down here, but oh. Hey, check it out. Uh, okay, cool. I could get through here. Good times. Take it. Thank you. Let's go. Screwdriver achievement. <laughs> Gee, thanks. I feel so uh, accomplished. What is that? What is with the... Chimes. 
I don't recall seeing wind chimes. Lots of weird noises going on now. Someone's here, though. There's sleeping bags in the church. Uh, hello? Where is it? The audio is kind of weird in the game, so sometimes... I'm not sure where the sounds are coming from. Like the chimes, they just stop up there, right? Or are they still... Or did they just stop? It was the same thing with the phone ringing in the very beginning. I couldn't tell where it was coming from, hardly. But that's okay. We're just gonna go to 117. And... Yeah. See what, uh... See what the old Ghost Adventures crew saw. This is the wrong one, isn't it? No, it's not. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Give it a twist. Well. Probably uh, was barricaded for a reason. But we're gonna go in anyway. Hey, a parabolic microphone. Those are cool. Wish, um... Wish I had me one of them. Those are kind of cool. MTV HS. Damn, they did leave everything here. Holy shit, man. Voice recorder. This is not a voice recorder. This is a big-ass camera. Oh, it says video. I'm, I'm dumb. My bad. Let's see what we got. It's always just hands. Shit just happened. Huh? Okay. May have been a little bit of an overreaction. Um. Um. Is there anything else I can take a peek at? I'm just gonna ignore the door. Oh, what? That's a thing that I have now. 
for whatever reason. I guess I'm going to be the new ghost hunter. That's like a dream job for me. I'd love to be a ghost hunter. I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, listen to the toilet. Nothing. Okay. Well. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. I guess I can get the hell out of this room then. I don't think there's really anything else for me to look. I can't pick the picture up. It's just the outside anyhow. And a mixtape. What do we got on that mixtape? Something for the road? Okay. Hey! Hey! Huh? For fuck's sake, Irving! Oh, uh, what did I do? It didn't ring. You gave me a heart attack. Sorry, I'll warn you with a carrier pigeon next time. Damn. Uh, what? I I'm just curious to know what you found in that room. Well, you should be. You're never going to believe it. Okay, well, I guess uh, we'll do one more day. But... Shit. I didn't have time to dig all this out. Really, you're getting comfortable here, huh, Nicole? Here I am. You still there? Where else should I be? Home? I wouldn't miss Nicole's amazing adventures in the remote mountains for anything. That's because you're not Irving. real, Irving. Don't so, tell so me you're staying you. on just for me. Oh, hey. Go! I promise not to get into any trouble for the rest of the night. I already told you. I'm sticking around till you get closure. Thanks. You always do that? Do what? Worry about every desperate stranger that knocks on your door. You're no stranger. But... I... I don't get it. You've been a part of this place since you were born. You belong here. You're well, weird. I thought I left all this behind. Maybe I still have a ways to go. To be free? You're making progress. Two days ago, you would have skinned me alive if I'd called you a country bumpkin. <laughs> um. What tells you I'm not sharpening my knives this very minute? It's good we're just talking on the phone, then. Listen, is this contraption really a phone? It feels like a walkie-talkie slash defibrillator. It's a real phone, and trust me, in a few years, everybody will have one. You think? It's easier for me to believe in ghosts than to imagine people being hounded by a phone when they're out and about. I'm... I'm grateful for it. I wouldn't have met you without it. Irving, are you hitting on me by any chance? Uh, no. <laughs> what are you... I mean, it's just... I... Relax. I was kidding. <sighs> I can never tell when you're kidding. Yeah, it's one of my fascinating virtues. Same. Oh, hold on a sec. Don't go anywhere, okay? Huh? Oh, okay. You have a good night too, Miss Flattery. Merry Christmas. Good night, honey. Here I am. To be honest, I never thought I'd spend Christmas like this. <sighs> Sorry, I was going off on another flashback about the life of Nicole Wilson. Christmas Eve is the right time to reminisce. You guys talk yeah. a lot. Yeah. I get it too. Yeah. That's what there was in the end. There was like a strange kind of warmth. Then it all ended. Christmas of 80. Me and my mom were at my aunt's house in Billings, and Leonard was here on his own. While I was pretending that I liked my aunt's sweater, he and she were... Nicole. They... Hey. And a year later, she killed herself. 
And what she was carrying, too. Don't be like that. There you have it. These are my memories, and, uh... Is that with the chimes? That sound. Was it on your end? No. What are you talking about? Like a clinking. Uh, no. I, I don't hear anything. Sorry, I want to check. Uh, okay. Oh, God damn it. Okay. Did I do this? Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, I was thinking about earlier when I said I was happy to have met you. Uh huh. I, I just I, I was trying to figure out how to tell you. I, I feel Damn it, Irving. real close to you, Nikki. Oh, God, I hear myself talk. I sound like an idiot. Irving, I, I don't know what you're trying to say, but right now I'm dealing with something else. I want to be there to help you. I'm just a useless voice on the mic. Believe me, right now, I would also like a little bit more presence. You know, uh, people get close in lots of ways. Please, shh a sec. I'm trying to listen to this noise. All right, I get that I might be overdoing it. Sorry, I'm a klutz, and, and sometimes it's... Irving, please, shut up. Exactly. Thanks. Listen, we'll get back to this, but let me figure this out. Where is this sound coming from? I don't hear anything. Anyway, um... Later. Okay. Um... I think it's getting louder. Irving, you hear me? Oh, for fuck's sake. Why? Oh, goddamn. Hey, sorry I didn't answer. I was, uh, busy. Oh, uh, no problem. It's fine. What do you want to tell me? Nothing much. Okay, okay. Well, let me know if you need me. Found anything? I can't hear that sound anymore. Is it the it's picture? It's easy to freak out when you're on your own up there. Um... Maybe you're right. Who knows, but it seems so similar to how I remember it. Hey, don't think about it anymore. If it comes back, we'll try and figure it out. You know, for a second it was nice to imagine that the past could come back like that. We always had a party on December 23rd. Maybe you heard about it? It's pretty well known in the county. <laughs> Sounds amazing. You should have seen the ballroom back then. I can almost picture it. The last time Rachel's family was there, Reverend Foster wasn't as sullen as usual. And your parents? My mother had eyes only for Leonard. And he... I saw he wouldn't stop staring at that girl. Rachel. She... Nicole, did you... ...talked and moved with the grace and confidence of an adult. She wore a dress with a bow on her back. She was so beautiful. Perfect. Fuck. It was the beginning of the end and we were breaking out the champagne. Nikki, I... Sorry, I'm... <laughs> Coming up freaking nostalgic up here. Well, I, I can't hear that sound anymore. It's gone. I'm gonna look around again and then I'm going to bed. 
Be careful. Um. Okay. Did you? Okay. <laughs> 